for like a low cost Russian airline. What was weird was going through the immigration section because I feel like they looked at our passport more going out than coming in. It's 160 bucks to get us out of Russia into the south of France. That went way too fast. That went I so quick. That, I can't believe that trip is already over. We are now back at the airport and we will go airport this time. We actually jumped on Skyscan and we said, what's the cheapest country we can go to after Russia? To Jess's little surprise. It just happened to be the French Riviera, so I was like, oh, may as well fly there. May as well continue <laughs> her uh, birthday month. <laughs> so yeah, I think our flights were like a hundred bucks. We just went on the anywhere feature. I don't know if you guys have used that on Skyscanner. hundred bucks for our flights and then I think when you fly like a lot of the low-cost airlines in Europe, baggage is always on top. So I think it's like 60 bucks. 160 bucks to get us out of Russia into the south of France. I think it's pretty good. What we've seen so far of the Moscow airport, it's actually super nice. They got like a full-on food court just before you check in. First time we've ever got lost in a departure hall before. Now we're going back down. I'm super excited because we've actually been to France twice, but both times to Paris. So this will be our first time actually seeing something a little bit different. And I think the plan is that we've, we've booked a little boutique hotel in Nice, and then we're gonna be spending the next four days using the train line and checking out a couple of the local small villages that surround Nice and explore some of the, I love saying the word French Riviera. <laughs> it's so fancy, the south of France. That sounds very extra. It's like when you get engaged, you're my fiance. <laughs> but cheers. Years, to be honest to a very painless check-in it's like when you book a low-cost airline in Europe you always just regret it every yeah. time but for like a low-cost Russian airline it took like five minutes to check in what was weird was going through the immigration section because I feel like they looked at our passport more going out than coming in like they even brought out these big thick microscopes and we're looking at our passports and it took like five minutes before they let us through. Oh yeah, quick tip, there's a little white paper they'll give you when you when you come into the country. You need to hang on to that. Make sure you keep the white slip because we needed it every time we went to a hotel and to leave they needed the white slip. That is a good tip. But um yeah I think we're gonna have this coffee and then head on our flight. The leg room isn't too bad. No sort of TV screen, but that's expected. And we have a four hour flight. That's okay. It was always you. Thank you. Sorry. We're back in France. Welcome to the south of France. On the plane, I got a little too excited because um, I was surprised I was serving coffee and she had an accident. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody, welcome to Nice, welcome to the south of France. We had honestly such a good ride. I don't know what I was expecting, but they fed us, they gave us coffee. Yeah, they gave us coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but now we are pretty much just gonna head to our hotel. There's this little bus we can jump on. I'll pop up the bus number here and the price for you. And then it's half an hour into Nice. Super easy. Oh wow, now that is a bus stop with a view. Oh my gosh, it looks so nice. Guys, we haven't been to Europe since October last year and you don't know how good it feels to be back in Europe. We're just waiting for our room to be ready. We just checked into the cutest little boutique hotel. It's called the Deck Hotel. And then they saw that um, I had my coffee mishap. So they were like, let me get you a coffee because you didn't get to finish your other one, which is nice. <laughs> be extra careful here. And there's this like cute little bar area that we're chilling out at. And uh, yeah, it. I'm just so happy to be here. I'm excited to be back in France. It's been so long. The last time we were in France, was the first year we started flying the nest. Oh wow, and so Cleo was there. Yeah, and Cleo was there with us. So it's like kind of surreal being back and being in a new area. At the moment, I think the Cannes Festival is on as well. So we saw some people flying in with their camera equipment and stuff like that. Yeah, so a lot of private jets. Are we gonna see Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah, I hope so. He's premiering his new movie <laughs> here. He? Yeah, the Quentin Tarantino one. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, we're staying in room 408. Oh, this is nice. 
definitely gone for the little nautical theme with the hotel. Oh, so we have just a gigantic double bed, got another coffee machine, just in case we didn't have enough access to coffee in this hotel. Got a little bit of a desk here. Ah, there's oh, some yeah, robes. robes. And then we have our bathroom. This is gonna be a nice little spot for the next few days. The flowers hug, the boxes everywhere. Good morning, everybody. Welcome we back. When the day was the most beautiful day. It was actually forecast to rain, but we got lucky. It is blue skies, it is sunny, and this is our first time, I guess, actually venturing out and exploring a bit of Nice. We're actually headed, we're walking along the coast right now, and we are heading to Old Town because there I've heard that there is this really cool market. Oh, awesome. So I'm thinking we should go there for some lunch. So this is the current walkway we're on and wow, look how beautiful it is just looking out there. Got the beach just over there and the city in the background. Oh my gosh, this place is amazing. The view is creep in ages this is <laughs> massive by the way this is wow so we found this like little crepery and they have quite a good lunch deal so for 9.90 euro you can get a savory crepe and a sweet crepe for that price so Stephen went for that and then I just got myself one crepe um, because how are you gonna eat another one of these Steve? yeah oh well, you're sharing with me I actually got one filled with ratatouille which is actually invented here in Nice yeah and you went for Where like a salmon one out? all right well bon appetit now that we're so full and craped out, we thought we probably should go for a bit of a walk. So you come down to the local port. It is really beautiful. So on one side of the street, they have a bunch of restaurants. And on the other side is the port with amazing soup yachts. And it's kind of like a cliff overlooking the water. It's kind of nice because we don't really have too many plans today. We're just taking it easy. Mm -hmm. like chill day. Literally a chill day. There's nothing on our itinerary. We just want to walk through the town. And eat lots of crepes. Eat lots of crepes and just enjoy it. I think tomorrow we'll show you guys what to do in Nice, but... Yes. We're gonna go out on a big adventure. Big adventure. I think this one's for us, just to relax and enjoy. So I think we're just gonna put the camera down and just take the rest of the day off. So if you guys are new around here and you followed us from Russia, make sure you hit subscribe and give the video a thumbs up because we're gonna show you everything to see and do in this little town. Thanks so much for watching guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Um, this is what we've been driving around the streets of Nice in. Mm. <laughs> it's the best. Wanna try the cone? <laughs> Jess in an element right now. That is amazing.